Do you guys like this background? I like to change it up for you. Um, I think the wall is kind of plain, but I've got some decor going on here, but pictures of my daughter. Anyway, let me know how you feel about this background. I know a lot of you love my bedroom background and I try to do some switch up in my living room too, but today's video is so big, so huge. I just, I gotta get into this and not spend too much time on an intro, but you guys, I have a huge collective Amazon haul. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in and I'll just quickly talk about each item how I found it, if I kind of found it on my own. I love to watch YouTube videos. Um, there are girls who primarily focus on just Amazon stuff and it's so awesome because they've already done the legwork and they found all the good stuff. There are gonna be some designer dupe stuff, some trendy stuff, and some Christmas stuff. So if you're interested, then let's dive in. All right, first thing is actually this sweater. This, I found this through a YouTube video. It is so cozy, it's so soft. I absolutely love the color pattern. This baby pink with the brown, it's so, so pretty for fall. And I love how it was styled in the picture on Amazon. I'll try to throw it up and I'll be throwing up prices as well so I don't have to um, just verbally say the price. But I just love the way that it was styled and it was honestly one of the biggest reasons why I decided to get it and it is so soft. It's amazing material. Here is the next item. It's also another clothing item. I've actually been eyeing this for a couple of years on my Amazon list. I've always wanted the one of these fall quilted herringbones puffer vest with zipper. The black trim, I mean this is from it's sold at Amazon. I'm sure it's probably sold in other places too, but it is such amazing quality. I love this. I've always, like I said, wanted one of these and I was shocked that I found it on Amazon. The next thing is actually my cell phone. I wanted to show you guys the case. It is a leopard print, but it also has glitter as you can see. It's falling down. It's just so beautiful. This is the iPhone 8 Plus and I found this gorgeous case on Amazon. I really loved it. I've actually dropped my phone a couple of times, which I don't normally do, and it has done a great job of protecting my phone. On the leopard kick, I also picked up the belt. It's one of the trends that I will say I really do like. I don't know that I follow every single trend, but the leopard thing, I love. So I did pick up this gorgeous belt, and it is such good quality. I don't know if you can just see, it's like a almost like a faux fur quality. It's not like a print. It's not like a leather. There is actually like fur. I, don't, I just don't know if you guys can see that. And it was so incredibly cheap and will look so cute with a ton of outfits, especially with my Good Witch and Bad Witch sweaters that I have on my own merchandise shop. I love wearing this with those because I think it's so flattering with white and black. Another quick thing is a Christmas tree. I don't know if you guys watch my vlog channel and watch the monstrosity of me trying to push this tree up my staircase. It was bad. Um, but I got a seven and a half foot Carolina pine tree from Amazon. It's beautiful. It was expensive, but I don't know if it's because I have a prime or what, but I was able to do like monthly payments of it, about 50 to 60 bucks for a couple months. Um, yeah, so I was really excited that I got a really amazing, good quality Christmas tree and I was able to make payments on it. My daughter recently um, called me not too long ago and she has the AirPods, but she was telling me that they hurt her ear quite often, especially at night when she um, is watching something on her laptop or doing homework or whatever it is she's doing and she asked for the bigger headphones. Now Beats are really expensive, the Sony ones are really expensive, and I found these, which I'll throw up a picture, but they are just active noise canceling headphones, the Bluetooth, they are Bluetooth, and it, I think I paid $59.99. Right now they have an extra coupon which you can take $10 off, so you can just click the little coupon box and then it will take $10 off. It's that easy. And Prime, one day shipping, and she loves them. She says they're actually really, really good quality. I don't know exactly if they're a dupe, but when I was reading the comments on this, so many people who owned the Sony and the Beats were saying that this was very comparable and it was a quarter of the price. So now let's get into a couple of Christmas items and I found a Harry Potter coloring book. My daughter loves Harry Potter. 
loves. It's like her go-to comfort movie. And so I, and I know she loves adult coloring books and I found this gorgeous Harry Potter one. These really fun, cozy looking slippers. I didn't realize that they were actually kind of sort of trendy. I saw some of them on Instagram after I had purchased these. Um, but they were, I guess, decently priced for slippers. I went with the gray. And what I love about them is how thick they are. And they have like a shoe sole quality to them. So you could wear them outside, which I like. Um, I got them for my daughter for Christmas. That way she could just kind of slip these on if she wants to kind of go down into the basement and do her laundry. She doesn't have to put like real shoes on. But they're also really good sturdy quality shoes. But they're slippers. When we were there moving her in, we went shopping and got her, you know, school supplies and all those things for her classes. And uh, we recently got into a discussion with her roommate about flare pins. And I actually heard, I've been seeing some YouTubers who do planning stuff and have flare pins. And I found a huge packet of them on Amazon. And I thought the price was really good. I think I paid $19.99. Um, and it says it won't bleed through paper and it's the paper mate and look how many Colors you get. So this is also another little Christmas gift for her. This is gonna be the year of board games I think so I got her catchphrase. This is uncensored. She is an adult now and I'm fine with it The grab it guess it pass it game with no filter. They actually played this in on our Florida vacation um, with our other family members and they had a Ball. They were laughing so hard. It was probably one of those moments where it will be a memory that I think they will all remember for the rest of their lives from a, from a game, you know? So we don't own it. And I decided that because she had such a good time, such good memories that I wanted to gift it to her for Christmas. Year of the board games. Here is Clue. It's one of me and my daughter's favorite games together. I actually got Clue in the Golden Girls version for myself one year. Who remembers that? And I didn't realize they had a Harry Potter version. So I went ahead and got this for her and we'll probably end up playing this like Christmas night after she opens it up. Let's switch things up. I'm about to shock some of you who really love Halloween and look what I found. On Amazon. Can you believe it? This is the handbook for the recently deceased, which is in the classic, iconic, the best um, movie, which is Beetlejuice. And at first I was kind of confused, um, but it is just a notebook. So it doesn't actually come with any content. And I'm not surprised because they didn't show the content in the movie. So it wasn't like they could make a replica. I think they were probably just like reading a script because they're like, oh, draw a door, you know, a doorknob kind of thing, but you never actually saw what was in here. At least I don't think you did. But anyway, it's gorgeous. The cover looks just like it in the movie and it could just be like a tabletop piece for your Halloween decor. And I was so excited. I was just like, where has this been all my life? My daughter ended up taking my curling wand with her because she didn't have one and so she's always borrowed mine when she's lived at home and so I just was like here you know what take it you're used to using this and then I decided I love curling my hair well waving my hair I wouldn't say curling my hair because I have a curling iron and then I kind of call this a waver I don't really know but this is what I use to wave my hair with and it is so good I've only used it a couple of times and it comes with two attachments now you can find a ton of these curling wands with like six different attachments. I just wanted these two because I know I don't like to do different size curls. I think this is like a one and two inch barrel. I'm not sure. Or it might be like one inch and one and a half. I really don't know. But I just knew looking at it that this was the right size that I wanted my waves to be. And it has a temperature control as well. So it's not just like high or low. You can actually set your temperature and it's really it's really good quality and i also like that it's pink and black here's another halloween thing i'm just kind of bouncing around because i'm grabbing from this box i found old-fashioned halloween cards you get 24 in here and it's set like this where you basically have to tear them out look how old-fashioned and vintage these look what absolutely love these would be great for planning great for friend mail pocket letters these are just stunning i mean i didn't even know things like this was available on amazon and it just truly makes me wonder what else 
is in the land of Amazon that none of us know about. So I recently got my daughter an Apple Watch. It was one of her graduation gifts that I ended up giving to her. And what I wanna do for Christmas this year is get her a couple of bands and that way she can just change them out. And I found some on Amazon. They are not Apple made. Uh, these were very, very cheap. It was like $5 just for this one. And I got her this baby yellow, which is one of her colors that I think that she requested. And I also got her a black, which I think we'll see here in a minute. Um, so five bucks, that's just an amazing deal. I also found these, I found these through a YouTube video and they were talking about acne patches and they're just these little dots and you can put a patch on you know a blemish and then when you wake up it's just gone and some of the reviews I saw on YouTube were pretty good maybe not on this one specifically but I just found it interesting and thought it would be great as like a stocking stuffer the next thing is a lint roller but it's reusable and I found that to be amazing because I can't tell you how many I go through with Loxie's hair all over me especially because I love wearing black and I just thought I wonder what is out there I think I actually owned something like this before and forgot about it but it is just that it's a reusable lint roller and you just wash it off Here's the handle, it's really easy to do. And then there you go. It, do you see how it has like a sticky quality to this? I think I have to unfilm it. And then, um, cause there's a protective film around it. And then you just roll it over and over and then you rinse it. And it still maintains its stickiness. So the reviews were really, really great. And so if you watch my Dollar Tree haul, I talked about how I still bought a lint roller and it was just to keep that in my car because this was $14.99, um, but I think it was like $14.99. And I found this, it's almost like a tunic. It's pretty long. It's just very plain. It's white and I just love plain stuff. I really do. It helps me to put, you know, my some of my workout outfits together a little bit better and I got this in a large and they come in so many different colors. And I don't know if you can tell, but there's a little, little chest detail there. And I never thought that I would get into this trend, but I, I did it. I got the barrettes. They're very much in style right now, but I definitely went with pearls because I love pearls and I love the gold detail as well. I got a bunch in here. I think I got like six or eight pieces and it was $8.99. Now these prices may change when you click on them. The prices do fluctuate on Amazon day to day. It could be lower for you, could be a little bit higher. It does change. So it's never like constantly that price. Um, but this, this, that was the price that I paid for these and I, I've just been feeling like I do my hair the same exact way. And I recently found a new YouTuber who makes doing hair look really easy. So I'm thinking I am going to try to give this a whirl for fall. All right, here's the next apparel item. It is a t-shirt, prepare yourself. And yep, found this on Amazon, but Sanderson sisters coming right at ya. I mean, they are squad. They are completely and look at them. They have this steampunk rock or whatever they call that look to them with the way that their their shoes are. And I also went oversized on this. I do that, I always go a size up from for t-shirts because I like to be able to tie them in a knot. And sometimes I just need that extra material to do it. So I did get a large for myself and I love I love this shirt. And we have our dupe here. This is a designer dupe for the Chloe handbags. And it's one of the designers that their handbags really intrigue me. I don't have very many that just kind of get my attention. Chloe bags, they're the ones that really pique my interest. And it has an edgy look too. And this just looks so similar to the real thing. And it's a backpack but you can also convert it into a handbag so it comes with another string that you can attach to the sides here and throw it on like a shoulder bag but the reason why i wanted to talk specifically about the backpack this is going to be awesome for when you go out and you're going shopping i can't tell you how many times 
This is one of the reasons why I, I shop online. I hate going with my purse on my shoulder. It's constantly falling. I, I can't sift through stuff very well. I don't know if you know what I'm saying or if you feel the same way, but I just think that a backpack, it's just, it's out of the way, you know, and it's also really cute and just is a complete dupe. There's so many little compartments. It's just the quality of this for what I paid compared to what Chloe bags cost in. I mean, this was an awesome, awesome find found anything interesting and then that way you don't have to spend so many hours searching because you can really go down a rabbit hole and that was one of the other main reasons why I wanted to do this because as many YouTubers as I find I still know there is just so much out there in the land of Amazon and you know this way I did a lot of work for you guys if you found any of this interesting I will link all of it down below for you you can just go straight to each product and that's that. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.